everywhere you go, there's free food growing. There is already. Localized food systems have potential to most efficiently utilize scarce resources, promote biodiversity and wildlife habitats, transform underutilized or wasted urban spaces into productive ecosystems, food not lawns, community gardens as acts of solidarity, a demonstration of unity between social and ecological communities. It's a huge economic opportunity. Let's talk about jobs and growth, reduce food budgets, increase health and life quality, decreases your consumptive desires. If you're full of the things you actually need, you're less likely to go out and buy those things that you don't need. Localized food systems and economies decentralize wealth and power. Communities grown around food are better positioned to realize other economic needs like shelter, education, health, etc. Challenge corporate food monopolies and empower yourself, friends, family, community through food sovereignty. One of my favorite quotes, growing your own food is like printing your own money. And so a little bit about the role of urban agriculture in our global village. Most people on the planet now live in cities, removed from nature and, and our agricultural and food systems, unaware of its impacts. Participation raises awareness, education, and moves solutions forward. Requires whole systems thinking and design. You heard about the vertical farm? Check it out. It's really cool. Resource-based, food, free food initiatives inspire and build resilient communities. You should see the reactions of people on the streets when I'm handing them free food. Little old ladies walking by and ask them to take a pee. They love it. <laughs> Transform wasted, underutilized spaces into productive ecosystems. Community gardens are transition hubs and emergency responses to the global economic and food crisis. How many of you have heard of the transition movement? Okay, a few. There's about a thousand worldwide and emerged a few years before the Zeitgeist movement. It's a, a reaction, a response to peak oil, climate change, and global economic instability. It's about a holistic socioeconomic localization, transitioning beyond fossil fuels and unsustainable inputs towards resilient localized economies. Most of these initiatives are started by people just like you and, my, you and I, and most of them begin with community gardens, food co-ops, and other food projects. Food is easy, it's accessible and impactful, engages widest diversity of people. I've been to other conferences around food and community gardens, and you'll see a lot more women. Um, Occupy Wall Street. First day, bring tent. Next 40 days, bring food. Kitchens and food teams integral to long-term occupations and movements. Next 365 days, bring seeds. It's time. Let us occupy gardens for world peace. <laughs> Seed library movement has gone fungal. In one year, 15 public libraries in Ontario have adopted the Seed Library program, hundreds across North America. There's a global movement for seed freedom. Thousands of initiatives all around the world networked under the name Seed Freedom. People borrow, grow, and return seeds for free. It's intuitive, it's radical. On the left, you'll see 75,000 packs of seeds that were recently donated to the Toronto Seed Library. So you can say it with me, 75,000 packs of seeds. It's a lot of packs of seeds. I, it's like, last year, we were don they donated 1,500, it's like times 50. There's a lot of seeds out there that are just going to waste. Like food, seeds have a shelf life. They're still viable, but they throw them out because they can't make profit from them. So instead, these companies have decided to donate to us, not necessarily realizing that we're giving them away for free, teaching people how to grow them, and then return them back to the library. In the middle is the latest seed library at the School of Librarians. And on the right is Ryan and I, tabling with a tool in seed libraries, working together. Providing people with the tools and seeds they need to grow, grow a better world. Seeds are more than just seeds. Seeds are living things that grow into plants, food, medicine, energy, resources, etc. We need seeds. Most food plants we depend on are grown from seed. Seed is central to the food system. Food system is central to society, ecology, and economy. There's a problem. Biodiversity is decreasing amid a mass species extinction. The current seed stock is centralized and controlled for private profit through the patenting copyright of seeds, thus life. There's few farmers and gardeners growing seed to seed, growing dependence on and threat of GMOs. Loss of biodiversity limits our options for adaptation in the face of rapidly changing climate and conditions. On the right is an image of just how much diversity we've lost in the seeds. Food and zeitgeist. Zeitgeist movement in food and agriculture. 
I think often about how Zeitgeist speaks about food and how our movement addresses and relates to food issues. It's very hard talking to people about these holistic systems of thought when they're hungry. Is anybody here hungry? Yeah, a few people are probably pretty hungry, right? <laughs> it's hard to think. It's hard to concentrate. It's hard to, you know, take down the global monetary market system on an empty stomach. <laughs> so I've found often there's an emphasis on high-tech solutions to be implemented sometime in the future. But people are hungry for change now. The technology exists. I've seen it. But it requires lots of capital and time and specialized knowledge. Therefore, it's risky and inaccessible to most people. We need to embrace the diversity of tactics, especially small, local, low-tech, educational food projects as first transition step until we reach a critical mass so we can make these larger structural shifts. We need to unite theory and action, demonstrate and taste the alternative. Members of the Zeitgeist Movement are engaged in abundance of grassroots food projects. Food growing and sharing is a highly successful form of outreach and community building. We need a collaborative global effort. Imagine a global seeding or seed day where all members of the movement go and plant school food gardens. Contact me. Growing towards free food for all. To feed our needs, let us grow and share free seeds. Imagine free food for all. There's practical steps. Development of local food councils to cultivate projects, a garden at every school, innovative open source and resource-based food systems. It's time. This is just a, a sexy CD centerfold. Um, we recently produced uh, the CD zine, our first publication, and uh, we've distributed about 150 copies, more to come, but in every edition we have a sexy CD centerfold, and I just thought it was kind of funny. That's it. <laughs>